Hey guys, Nancy Leah here with this week's Focal, and this week for a group of traditional archery, we are going to be chatting about our fall hunting setups. And then after that, we'll go ahead down to my targets and we'll do some shooting. I will be shooting with my Timberhawk ILF riser. And paired with this riser, I have a set of Dosbo 3K limbs in 45 pounds. These are the longs. So overall, this bow is 62 inches. I will be shooting with my traditional only arrows. These ones are 500 spine. I bear shaft tune them to this bow. I have a torn fletching. That's okay. <laughs> um, and then I put 300, 300 grains up front. Speaking of up front, these are my broadheads for this season. These are the tough head. Evolution Series 300 grain broadheads. And I just wanted to show you these. Today we won't be shooting these. Don't tell anybody, but these, mine are in the mail. These are actually my husband's set. But for the sake of, for the sake of sharing, I went and dug them out real quick to show you. So that is my fall hunting setup. <clears throat> so I say we head on down to my target and we're just going to do a series of walkbacks. I like to say I'm getting dialed in when I do this. I'll start at six to eight yards and I will shoot, <clears throat> excuse me, shoot a group of three arrows until that group is nice and snug. And then I will move back from there somewhere about 10 to 12 yards until that group is snug. And then I move back to 18, 19 yards. Same thing all the way back to about 25 yards. Or I can keep going past that sometimes when I'm feeling weird and confident. Um, and I'll do that just until I get far enough that I'm not hitting the target. And then um, I say I'm dialing. So let's go shoot. And in typical me fashion, during these vocal videos, I completely forgot to add something. I wanted to share with you my new crested arrows. I actually finished this arrow and the other one up the day before ETAR, but I have not yet shown them off or shot them or anything. I was kind of waiting to get back to these um, vocal videos since we've been on break for the summer. So I bought myself some awesome blue vintage paint to do the entire length of the shaft in that vintage blue color. And then I got myself some beautiful feather blue feather purple, and a metallic gold crusting paint. I bet they'll just look beautiful flying through the air. I also, the red I already had, but this is the classic blue. I'm not sure how well you can see. I actually have a crack in my selfie cam. Um, just wear and tear on the cell phone. So, okay. Let's go. Just shoot three. Um, if it's not a nice tight group, I'll shoot them again. I'll pull them and shoot them again, and then from there, we'll move back.
So all three are in the vital V. However, the first one was super far back. So we're going to have to shoot that round again. These two are great. This one, I just, let's just redo it. I'm not sure what's up with the chickens, but the last round, they were just freaking out. So I wonder if something was down there trying to mess with them or they're just having a cat fight. But I apologize. Come. Come. That arrow completely bounced out of the tower gate. However, pretty sure, pretty sure it was a good shot. I'll, um, when I put this video together, I'll do a slow-mo and see, but I could have sworn it would have grouped with these two, so. I was target at ETAR a couple of weeks ago, and as you see, it's kind of sort of beat up. It's a bummer. These things are expensive. So we're going to call that good. I am going to just back you up a little bit and we'll shoot one more round. I'm trying to keep an eye on the time on this video. I try not to make the focal videos longer than 10 minutes because then I have trouble uploading. Um, my internet isn't super bad out here, but it's finicky when you start start getting um, demanding on time more than 10 minutes. So anyway, let's... I've been working on my back tension, which has led me to work on my release, which has also led to me messing myself up severely. Um, I know I go on about it in my stories on Instagram, but not everybody watches those. I've been trying to get my back tension back under control, but also keep not keep my focus on that so much so that my release ends up being like jerky. You know, so if you note that in any of my shots, I am working on it. So these three would have been our, this was actually the second shot. It was super low. I'm going to attribute that to, I am really warm right now and maybe a little tired. I'm kind of rushing because we have to wrap this up, but we'll call this good. This is actually how I practice in my yard. I will go to a short distance and not not move back from that distance until I can snugly make a group with those arrows and then I'll move back to the next yardage. But thanks so much for letting me share and we'll see you next time.